Okay, this is the last week before the break, so uh, we're going to learn how to create some simple buttons, and then after the break when we do our remote learning, then we'll start our web design. Um, so on the website, I've added adding replay button. So if you download that and you open it up in Animate, it'll actually look like this. So this is one of the uh, like demo animations that they give us. So the last one we worked on um, was the cat the cats with the lightsabers thing. So with this one, this little hippo guy who's tumbling around and shooting his gun, um, we're going to put some stop action script in there. We're going to add another scene, and then we're going to put in a replay button. So we want this to go through once, and then it's going to go to a new scene. So we just go scene. This is a review of this. So I'll go scene two, and then we'll just add maybe four seconds in here just to give it a little bit of space. So I'll press F5 to extend that. And um, we're just going to put in some action script. So I'm just going to zoom out here. So when we export this, we won't see our background in there. So I'm just going to create one. And I'm just going to sample this color. Okay, I'll call this background. Remember when you're handing in your stuff um, that everything is named. Um, I said that multiple times, so I won't go into that anymore. So layer two, so I'm creating another layer here, and I'm going to call this one replay underscore. So for this one, I'll, I'll type out button, but usually I'll just type in btn. So when we grab our oval tool, I'm just going to create a simple button here that is red. Okay, so I've got this oval, we've got this circle, I should say. Um, so this is going to be our button. So right now, if we control enter, it goes through our first scene quickly, goes through the next scene, in a second here. And then it'll keep repeating. So we want to put in some stop action scripts. So we this is again is review, so we take our playhead right to the end. We're going to go and add our stop action scripts. We go to our code snippets. And then in action script, timeline, stop at this frame. Okay, so there's our code there. Now, if I hit control enter, I've got to watch that first scene again. So I don't want to do that, So, because I don't want to sit and watch it. So I'm just going to drag this scene up to the top for a second. Hit control enter. Some of you figured this out when you're doing your quotes. If you didn't want to watch each scene over and over and over again, you just drag the one you're currently working on up to the top. Okay, so this stops and I've got that action script working. Now this is new. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to press F8. And here, instead of creating a movie clip symbol, we're going to call this replay btn. And on the drop down here, we'll just go to button. Click OK. And we have our button. Now, when we go to our properties, this button needs an instance name. So I'll go and talk more. In detail about this later on, but for right now, we'll just call this replay btn. In our library, we see this here. Okay, so now what's different is when I hit control enter, what happens? My cursor looks like this. When I go over top of this area, all of a sudden it gives me 
some feedback saying that this is interactive. This is some sort of interactive button. So let's close this. If we double click on this button, our timeline changes. We're in the edit mode for the replay button or any button for that matter. We've got a different timeline, something that we haven't seen before. Instead of having all of these frames, all these keyframes, it just says up, over, down, and hit. So the up state is what we see when, we, when the button first shows up. If I press F6 on the over state, I could take this color and I'll just change it. I'll make it maybe a little more subtle. I'll just make it uh, dark red. And then in the down state, I'll press F6. And I'll make it brighter. And then the hit area, we're just going to leave that for now. We're not going to put anything in there. So I'm going to hit Control Enter just to see what this does. So I hover over top of this and in the over state, so when my mouse is over it, it changes to this color that I designated. And then when I press down, it kind of lights up with that other color that I added. Okay, so I'm going to close this and I'm going to make this my background. I could call it btn button background. I can create a new layer. I can call this one text. And I can grab the text tool. And Okay, so this will say replay. Control enter to test it. Okay, looks good. I'm gonna go back to scene two. I'm actually gonna make this button pop up at two seconds. Uh, maybe a second and a half. So I'll test it again. Okay, we're almost done. Uh, we just have to give it some instructions, and that is action script. So I'm going to drag this scene to scene two. Right now, I'm just going to play it just so we know what it looks like before we add the replay instructions. So we've got our scene one, scene two. Doesn't do anything yet. Once this is selected, so this is important. Remember when we were creating uh, m uh, movie clips and we had things moving, the first thing we had to do was uh, create a movie clip and then we had to make uh, some sort of motion tween down here, either a classic motion tween or just a motion tween. Uh, if we want to make a button work, we have to make it a button, then we have to give it an instance name, and then we have to give it instructions with code snippets. So we click on code snippets, and what's awesome about this is we don't have to memorize all this code. We can just click on one of these where it says, go to scene and play. So we see some of these um, other options in here. Go to frame and stop, go to frame and play, uh, go to the previous frame, go to the next scene. Uh, but we want to be specific. And this one is actually the one we're just going to use all the time. We could make it move around. Uh, just one scene if we wanted to. So maybe we've got like a replay button where we want it to just jump back to the beginning. Um, we'll do that later. But uh, for now, we're just going to click on go to scene and play. So I'll just double click on this. We see the action script 
instructions here. So again, this is great because having these code snippets means you don't have to memorize all of these, all of these uh, specific sets of instructions. So if you had to memorize this, we'd be doing this course for probably another eight months, um, just because this is a little bit different than, than what we're used to. Um, but code snippets allows us to just change some minor things. So I'm going to change this from scene three to scene one. So up here is the instruction. So it says clicking on the specified symbol instance. So that means this particular button, which we call the replay button, plays the movie from the specified scene and frame. So I want to go scene one, frame one. Replace scene three with the name of the scene you would like to play. Replace one with the frame number you would like the movie to play from in the specified scene. So I just collapse this, and that's it. Control Enter. And we note this is past three seconds now, so it's stopped. Everything is working, and I click on it again. This time, it follows those instructions that I provided. Goes to scene one, and then ends. Okay, so that is how we create a button. Now we can create, um, we can do a lot of different things with buttons. Uh, so we're just going to get started with that. You're going to create a replay button. Um, you're going to create a replay button for this one. Okay, so you're just going to follow along with my instructions in this video, and you're going to add a button to this, and that's it for that one. Um, we'll see how this week goes. Um, I want to kind of have everyone have a chance to wrap up all of the assignments that they've been working on, and then in the new year, we just start with websites and we go into more detail with buttons and how to set up our websites and make them animated and all these cool things. Um, so I might add an assignment. Um, I might add something near the end of the week um, where some of you, if you finished everything, you can get kind of a head start on it if you want. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I know, I know a lot of people are still working on their fishing as fishing assignment and some of you aren't even there yet some of you are still finishing up a couple of these other ones so uh, we'll see most likely I'll add one little thing um, for those of you that are ahead and you just want to get a head start on things and um, yeah so that's the idea for the week so I'm going to end this video now and ask me if you got any questions on Edsby or ask me in class a reminder you're handing in everything on Edsby. So you attach the file, make sure it's the FLA file so I can check the layers and everything else. Okay, have a great day.